Eco-Community Support for Earth's Biosphere. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 236. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 236, October 1st, 2017 edition. Today's topic is eco-community support for Earth's biosphere. And what eco-community support for Earth's biosphere means is really one of the main foundations of our project. Every week I feature a main foundation and everything you see here in the background is about those foundations of what it is that we're working to create. And specifically, we believe that eco-communities have the potential to transform life on this planet for everyone. Now, I say that a lot of people are like, what? Eco-communities? That's to make people live in eco-communities, like little isolated groups. That's not really what we're talking about, although that would be a part of the solution, and we're definitely designing and open sourcing and free sharing all the components to be able to create that. But really what we see as a possibility for transforming our planet positively and permanently for everyone is a global cooperative of eco-communities working together to evolve sustainability as a whole to evolve sustainability from just being food, energy, and housing to also include the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together in an eco-community model that supports the earth biosphere by providing a way of life that most people, we believe, will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. Why? Because through an eco-community model, we can live sustainably in ways that provide better food, higher quality air quality, better water quality, as well as a broad diversity of social and recreational activities within walking distance. And through creating a, creating a global cooperative and a global collaborative of eco-communities, we can also provide international travel and places for people to go around the world where they can integrate in with existing communities, be able to provide their skills and their support within those communities, either integrating in as a long-term lifestyle or just as a temporary helping out type of experience. And all of those eco-communities inviting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to visit them if they're following the model that we're creating to experience what it is that one community is all about and all these individual eco-communities are about so that if what they like is something that they, if they like what they see, then they can take the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources and replicate it for their own use, which could be either as an individual home, it could be as a community that's not really necessarily interested in global sustainability and global transformation, or it could be part of the highest good network that we are developing and want to lead as one community, working together for positive and permanent global change for everybody, creating a world within our lifetime that truly works for all people, simultaneously addressing all of the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come through an eco-community support for Earth's biosphere that includes people working together as a global collaborative, as a global cooperative, to create this world that we know is possible. We think that open source, food, energy, housing, for-profit, non-profit economic models, education, as well as fulfilled living practices and true earth stewardship has the potential to create this collaborative network of people working together to evolve it, to expand the suite of options that we're already creating so that there's something for everyone. Regardless of what people's goals are, regardless of what people's values are, we think that we can create something for everybody built on a platform of sustainability that means that no matter how people use it, in almost all instances, it would be a step in the right direction. At the worst, it wouldn't be a step in the wrong direction. It's all built on this consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so we think that if it's even remotely built off of that foundation, it would be a step towards a sustainable world, towards a sustainable civilization. And so our goal, our idea of eco-community support for Earth's biosphere is to make that easy enough, 
affordable enough and attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And everything that you see here in the background of this video is our visualization, our creative process, which now has encompassed hundreds, over, well over 100,000, uh, thousands of hours, well over 100,000 hours. It's had hundreds of volunteers involved in it because our entire organization is a nonprofit, 100% volunteer organization. So all volunteers have created everything that you've seen, and this is just the beginning. It's only the beginning. It's just the start. Our goal is to build one community as a place that people can visit and experience so that everything that I've been talking about now for years and that we've been developing for years will be something that people can physically, tangibly experience. And that will be our process of testing all the open source blueprints, of further developing all the open source blueprints, of shooting all the video to go with everything that we've already created, of making sure that everything is permitted, making sure that everything is truly replicable, gathering more data and information from the public as they visit, from the public as they view everything that is that we're doing, and hopefully from the public as they work in collaboration and cooperation with us to replicate what it is that we're creating all over the world creating teacher demonstration hubs designed specifically to teach others how to replicate teacher demonstration hubs too. If you like what you see, replicate it. If you wanna be a part of global change, replicate it in such a way that it models after our model, which is purpose to teach others how to replicate it too. And in so doing, you join the global collaborative and cooperative of eco communities supporting the Earth's biosphere. This is what we're doing. Everyone's invited to participate. So with all that said, let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of eco-community support for Earth's biosphere. Here it is. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we finished designing the outside dining area. We also updated the color of the building and worked on the landscaping. The core team additionally updated the compressed earth block village open source hub with the new floor plans shown here. These included corrected patios for all three floors of the North residences. The core team also, with the help of Sungum Stanzik, PhD in PE, updated the communal eco-shower page with the new biocompatible soap details, location and floor plan images, and copper corrosion research results. Hemanth Kodera, structural engineering master's student, completed his ninth week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earth Lake Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was on researching the effectiveness of nails as an anti-shear option between earth bags. Jaganathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his third week working on the Straw Bale Village cost analysis. What you see here are cost estimates for about half the different areas included in this village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 57th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was this final render of the massage and treatment room looking north. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 35th week of work focusing on the final presentation shown here and live on the site for the Zone 11, the North Playground, and the exercise space. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her ninth week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village Pod 7. This week's focus, as shown here, was testing initial texturing for the upstairs shelving and more stair and furniture design details. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his fifth week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan so we can update the Highest Good Energy page. This week's focus, as shown here, was second generation energy needs calculations for the initial landing party, sizing the generators, and updating the landing party rollout text details. Dipti Dondarkar, 
electrical engineer, continued with her 52nd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was adding and testing multiple lighting options for the dining dome column, wall, overhang, and table lights. Bomzi Palergertha, mechanical engineer, also continued work on basement heat transfer comparisons for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. What you see here are Bomzi's fourth generation details and conclusions comparing how heat transfers from the basement and boiler room to the outside when built in ground versus above ground. Aruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer also officially took over working on the city center structural engineering details. What you see here are some screenshots of her process looking for and correcting errors in the existing model. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching and organizing recently found resources for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished rebuilding the education, evaluation, and evolution open source portal to reflect and to be able to access the content created over the last few months in collaboration with Sungum Stanzik, PhD in PE. You can see some of the new sections here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued developing the animation for our video that will feature where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was adding the final image movements to bring us to 100% complete. In addition to this, we finished working on the new and standalone state-by-state -state resource page for the U.S. Departments of Taxation, creating a header image, performing final edits, and completing the SEO information and sharing it. You can see this page here. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with creation of the Highest Good Society search engine version 3.0, integrating another round of suggested edits and missing pages. You can see some of this work in progress here, and we'd say this search engine is now 90% complete. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, returned to helping work on the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was continuing her work on the functions for retrieving account information for specific people based on individual IDs and populating the profile page for the specific person with their respective values. In addition to this, Pretty Kotari, information technology enthusiast, also completed her seventh week helping with the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was experimenting with creating the database model design suitable for the application, some of which you can see here. Well, there you have it. That's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards eco-community support for Earth's biosphere. If you like what you see and you'd like to see more, if you'd like more details, more information, links to all the open source content, and a whole lot more beyond what we've just talked about in this update, visit our written blog or just visit our website. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or join us on social media. We are on almost all the major social media networks. We are, of course, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, LinkedIn, and about 15 others, Pinterest, to make it as easy as possible for people to follow and share information. Uh, if you'd like to help out, the easiest way to help out, like this video, share our information, check out our website, see what it is that you like, you think is most interesting, show your support by helping us share that information, get the information out to the people that are most interested in it, share it with your networks, help spread the word for us, and, uh, of course, thank you. 
Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes and the shares that we get and the comments that we get. This is how our project grows and evolves. Thank you for your support in watching any part of this video, but definitely, of course, for sharing everything. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're a 100% volunteer organization and none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, including myself, which means that 100% of donations go to our mission and uh, keeping one community running. Nothing goes to salaries or paying any wages. It all goes towards forwarding one community's open source and global mission. So thanks for the donations that we get. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.